I'm going to play an interview I made with uh, Chu Chong Kai, who's uh, an activist with the Socialist Party of Malaysia, who's had uh, many years of uh, close contact and solidarity with uh, democracy activists uh, in China, uh, both on the mainland and in Hong Kong. But um, before I play the interview, I want to uh, show you uh, a little video which uh, uh, John Kai shared on his Twitter account, protesters at Peking University singing the Internationale in, uh, in, during a protest uh, in solidarity with uh, the demonstrations against the severe lockdown measures. <laughs> What have you uh, heard about the most recent protests on mainland China, which uh, some reporters are saying are the most significant protests since the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests? Well, I think the the recent protests um, is a wave of uh, protests, um, uh, spontaneous and sporadic, uh, uh, taking place in uh, uh, many parts of the of China. Um, basically, actually, it's uh, sparked by the uh, resentment or the suspicion uh, about this um, the COVID, zero COVID policies has been implemented like for almost uh, three years. Um, so, um, I, it's, I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not sure how the, the scale of the protests because of the, 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 the a lot of uh, confusion on the reports and so on, but it's definitely, is the, uh, it posed a challenge like, to the current, uh, Chinese government, especially, uh, after the, when the Xi Jinping is entering his, uh, third term as the general secretary. Uh, but uh, the protest itself actually started because, uh, really, is because of the uh, um, uh, the the resentment towards the zero COVID policy, which is uh, for the last few months there are few um, number of incidents that really uh, built up to this kind of uh, um, anger um, towards local government or some also towards the uh, the, the government in, in general like the uh, like for the five months of uh, Shanghai lockdowns uh, I think from uh, February to uh, August uh, a lot of the Shanghai the people in Shanghai is very uh, um, uh, 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 resentful towards the uh, the the Shanghai government, which is led by uh, Li Qiang. Li Qiang now is the second number two in the Communist Party, which is uh, going to replace Li Keqiang as the premier next year. Uh, and uh, when Li Qiang is, is, is as the party secretary in uh, Shanghai, he's the one overseeing the implementation of the strict lockdown and harsh uh, lockdown. That's created a lot of problems uh, for the local residents there. And so this is one of the incidents. And also uh, recently there was this uh, um, uh, uh, issues of um, um, uh, workers in Fox, Foxconn factory, a Taiwanese-owned uh, factory in, uh, uh, in Zhengzhou. Uh, which is in the central plain uh, province of Henan. Uh, they have been uh, have this uh, trap in the situations that uh, the uh, the the factory management uh, in, in, in implementing uh, a very strict uh, lockdown together with the state, and uh, and in in the condition that workers uh, are, are, are trapped and and exposing to the the spread of the virus uh, and trying to escape but uh, and then the uh, the images of the workers trying to escape from the the the, the plants have been uh, viral in the social media although it's been like highly censored in in, in 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 the mainland china itself but it's still widely circulated it create a lot of uh, people uh, really uh, Anger towards how these uh, the government handling and of course and also there were protests uh, by the workers uh, Foxconn workers and suppressed uh, by the company uh, work hand in hand with 
the state the, the authorities the local authority there so there was this uh this kind of incident and the, of course the the reason the spark for the reason protest was the urumqi what happened in urumqi the fire which killed uh at least 10 people uh mostly uyghurs and uh it's uh create uh, and there was protest started in Urumqi itself, and then spread to Shanghai, which is they have already uh, a lot of uh, resentment towards the government, and yeah, and then it's, it, it it broke up, and uh, and and students in different university also organizing vigils and so on and so forth. So can you explain um how the fire was connected to the to the harsh um, COVID measures? Okay. Uh, d- during this incident, uh, because Urumqi is going through is uh, this uh, lockdown, uh, um, um, because of the zero COVID policies, and of course Xinjiang has been uh, subjected to a very uh, strict uh, 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 control uh, by the governments uh, because of the sensitivity of the region, and Urumqi as the uh, is the uh, is the uh, capital of Xinjiang, uh, uh, we autonomous region. And uh, uh, there was allegation. Of course, the uh, the the local authority denied it. Uh, that's uh, the the fires when the fire broke out. The uh, the fire brigade having problems to uh, get close to the building was on fire because of the lockdown measures have been implemented. Which because the the lockdown is uh, is very strict. That people in the same uh, com- they they cannot uh, go out from the compound of the uh, residential area in the apartments. So because of this kind of uh, the measures have been uh, implemented, that's uh, uh, hindering the the efforts um, to uh, to to put down the fire at that time. So this uh. Uh, whether it's related or not, it still have to be investigated. But uh, the people already uh, very frustrated uh, with these uh, the lockdown measures. So that's why the fires is become a spark for people to accuse it uh, is uh, because of the the the, the strict lock, lockdown measures that uh, uh, take, take away people's lives. The and uh, of course it's risk, yeah. I, I understand that that the the lockdown measures are not uh, uh, uniformly enforced as harshly all around the place, and that one of the things that are making people angry is that in some places it's much harsher than others. Uh, what is the reason? Do you think for this? Is it just accidental variation of uh, local policy, or is there something else? <laughs> I think it's 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 have to do with the problem with the bureaucracies. Uh, the central government have the policy of zero COVID, and has to implement it at all level, provincial to the prefecture and to township and villages. So the the problem with the uh, the the Chinese uh, bureaucracy is the lower level of the uh, government. They need to fulfill. They need to target that to control, right? If something happens, like actually, what happened, like in the during the early stage of the uh, outbreak of COVID uh, virus in Wuhan, which is the local authority trying to suppress uh, the informations uh, to the public because they want to, they are, they want to have to meet the some the, the to show their their perform uh, well then the, the the official can get promotion or that or that so it is a bit related to the, the problem is the bureaucracy so the lower level trying to meet the target sets by the higher authorities and uh, they are, they are doing something that some some actually uh, yeah, overdo it is in some cases uh, which is the when the cases is not a lot but it's still uh, imposing very straight harsh uh, uh, lockdown measures or uh, yeah so it's 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 really uh, the whole problem also related to the to the bureaucracy lah, which is very uh, also lack of a uh, check from the uh, the civil society does the does the uh, harsh lockdown um also impact more uh more uh, painfully on poor and working class communities compared to the middle class and obviously the rich, I guess they can cope quite well. In what ways, yeah. if they do, uh, do you know that it is uh, hurting the uh, the the working class and and poor harder? Yeah, uh, definitely. The because the, the 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 impact of the lockdown is is is, uh, is very uh, 
to different uh, classes uh, in the society um, and uh, and uh, wait let me uh, yeah and like the um, for that like the ordinary workers working people and also small business in the cities they were they they deeply impacted lah, by the the lockdown measures and uh, of course at the beginning of this uh, 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 the government have some measures trying to uh, alleviate this kind of, uh, this impact uh, by providing supplies or that but like i think i thought i think in shanghai what happened is uh, there were time that the um, uh, the supply of the basic needs the foods or that when they have like um, uh, not uh, uh, delivered in time so create some angers among the people and and for the uh, working people they are like um uh, if like there are many uh, people now engaging in in, in uh, gig economy and when the lockdown happens uh, that mean their income also uh, getting uh, uh, strong so yeah they're having hardship to to meet the the daily uh, daily needs uh, that's why uh, they are like uh, looking forward for um or, or, or for um or easing of the lockdown measures. They're not like totally against the governments to 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 not to what contain the virus, but the problem is the is this is the, like a prolonged lockdown is really uh, make them uh, much more difficult lah. What about the workers who are employed by the big? Uh, global multinationals who are making so much money from their labor exploitation. Mm. Uh, do they uh, are they do they have the right to be to be paid for the time that they uh, cannot go to work because they're locked down, or do they just okay. lose yeah, their? I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure about the what's happening in that one, so I really hardly can comment on that. Uh, but what happened in like in the Zhengzhou, the the Foxconn factory? It's like uh, the the workers uh, the, the the actually the factories want uh, own the, um, the owner want them to go to work despite of the spread of the virus but they are also implementing uh, harsh lockdown measures that they cannot uh, move around uh, uh, in the community but they have to go to work and actually the the the, the situation where the workers have to flee away from the factory. <laughs> to flee away so they're the caught population. between the employers and the the, the state's regulations yes. yes yeah yeah now i noticed that um there have been some video reports that have come out uh, particularly of demonstrations in universities where the demand seemed to be going far beyond uh, the issues of the lockdowns um i've seen some video that they are demanding power to the people and other videos uh, demanding that uh, Xi Jinping step down, or in some cases that the the CCP step down. Um, what do you know of uh, the situation on the universities? Hmm. Is there a generation of activists now who are, I guess, more um, radicalized and politicized uh, than uh, perhaps in the intervening years after the crackdown? in uh, 1989 well see um for the last uh, decade uh, i think within the intellectual circle including uh, students uh, young uh, um, the, the young people the intellectuals there were this growing um uh, worried or anxieties uh, with the concentration of uh, power in the very few uh, uh, party elites Especially during the Xi Jinping era, uh, because before Xi Jinping, uh, during the Hu uh, era, uh, of course, in terms of uh, the economic policies, they are more open to market reforms, and uh, politically, there are still a little bit of room. Although it cannot compare to the pre nineteen eighty nine periods, the opening uh, openness, uh, but there are still some rooms for the civil society and the in, uh, intellectual to to discuss. But uh, for the last decades, uh, the space has been uh, shrinking, and uh, and uh, and and there there was this uh, uh, really uh, frustration uh, or, or or worried about this this kind of uh, this development. 
and uh, like for example uh, i think in 2019 when this um, the the student from the marxist uh, society in the uh, peking university they were they, they went all the way to the south to uh, solidarize with the uh, jessic workers and then uh, most of them got arrested and the main leaders have been like detained for a long period of time and also uh, activist teachers in the in the university who uh, sympathize with the worker struggles uh, were being uh, uh, detained and charged uh, now still some still uh, still in prison so this kind of uh, create a, a, a atmosphere of uh, of fear among the intellectuals or this. So the reason um, uh, protests, which uh, the voices people like wanted to the Xi Jinping step down or that, I'm not sure how much resonate among the, the people, but the uh, among the larger population. But I think it reflects some of the uh, view of the intellectuals and including the 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 the, the young the students about the the, the the communist parties and the the future rule of this yeah but um yeah but i'm not sure how how much the skill of this uh, 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 uh disagreement or uh, disagreements towards the uh, the, the parties uh uh, leadership uh, in, in in the central government, but uh, uh, there there is the, uh, this kind of feeling uh, and has been suppressed uh, or uh, or been silenced because of the culture of fear uh, for the last decades. Uh, and this current events it, it just is make this uh, voice has been heard. Of course, it's exaggerated also by uh, international media because it's something that's very <laughs> exciting. But I uh, but the scale of the protest or the uh, I, I I say it's still far. Uh, compared to the uh, pre nineteen eighty nine, where we have a more open uh, atmosphere, people discussing uh, the future of uh, of China, more open uh, compared to now, which is uh, much more re uh, 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 restrictive or repressive environment. Now there were some media reports of um, small um, solidarity actions in. Hong Kong, uh, mm. and people holding up the uh, blank mm. paper signs. Mm. Um, I mean, the the Hong Kong democracy movement has been, you know, quite severely suppressed over mm. the last few years, and we haven't seen big demonstrations for some time. Uh, do you think there is a, a chance that there will be a rekindling of the democracy uh, campaign in Hong Kong? Uh, as a result of what's happening on mainland China? Uh, I think in Hong Kong, they're still very, very facing a very difficult situation of uh, rebuilding the, uh, the pro-democracy movement there. But for example, besides of the suppression uh, from the state, but they also like the uh, the movement has been like divided because of the right-wing uh, localist forces, which we very... Uh, uh, I would say damaging to the democracy, democratic movement in, in Hong Kong. And like the reason protests, some of them, they already like playing overseas. They are like uh, what, viewing this uh, protest in China is like something that the uh, useless or, or, or not been, like, yeah, they're not like supportive to this, the, the Chinese. The, oh no, the, I mean the right-wing localists have, have always not been supportive to the democratic movement in, in, in mainland China itself. So the the, the remaining uh, the, uh, the democratic activists, there are some have fled uh, Hong Kong, but uh, those who uh, stay there, stay back, are still facing a very harsh, uh, uh, difficult situation. I think way to develop. I'm not sure how much, but now of course, the uh, the the development in 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 mainland China itself also will get inspiration for the newer generations to. To, to act because comparatively Hong Kong still have more uh, freedom uh, compared to the mainland China not, not at the moment <laughs> but yeah, because of, of uh, because of um, you know economic competition and the desire by the, the US and other Western powers to to push back uh, China on many fronts um, 
there has been a widespread tendency in many parts of the international left to uh, to see everything in the prism of uh, you know pro anti imperialism or whatever, and uh, there's been some uh, sections of the left that are reluctant to show solidarity with uh, democracy movements in in Hong Kong and uh, mm. more broadly in China. Um, what do you? What are your impressions about this? I mean, even where you are in Malaysia, where it's a large uh, uh, ethnic Chinese uh, community, um, has there been a breakdown in in sympathy and solidarity for the democracy movement in China as a result of this polarization of views around the mm. increasing, you know, war and of on China from the West and the demonization of the Xi Jinping leadership in particular. Mm. Yeah, I think on the issue uh, related like um, in China, Taiwan, uh, which is uh, uh, caught in between um, the uh, clashes of the um, uh, of geopolitical powers, especially now the China-US rivalry has been become increasingly uh, dominant uh, in the world arena. Uh, it's really uh, divisive among um, uh, the, the left as well as uh, many of the people who's like, uh, okay, I've got Chinese communities and so on. Uh, the, the problem is uh, with this is... Uh, well, of course, we 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 cannot. Uh, we have uh, we, we have to realize that uh, the U.S. definitely uh, try uh, have threatened by, uh, by the uh, emergence of China's and the uh, global economic power and uh, and uh, trying to use every means to contain it, uh, to retain its uh, supremacies in this geopolitical rivalry. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, something uh, is, is, is surely, and of course, U.S. are trying to use every uh, every in, uh, incidents to 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 justify its uh, its measures, sanctions, or trade war against China or any countries that uh, um, that's not in line with uh, its interests. But uh, we. Also, uh, not forget that there are uh, movements within these countries, uh, countries which is uh, rivalry to US, including China's, that people uh, are wanted for uh, a more uh, uh, a better lives or struggle for more uh, democratic space uh, uh, in order for them to build a, a better uh, a better society, right? Not necessarily they wanted to like join US or to, to overthrow the government and join US. Uh, there, there are some people like this, but uh, but these are the, I would say, the, there are genuine uh, voices among the populations that's uh, demanding a, a, a better uh, political, social, economy uh, environment for for them. So these are the movement for the among many of the uh, their lack of the support or solidarity from uh, many of the so called anti imperialist left because they were seeing these people when they are protesting against their government. Uh, you are like uh, uh helping the 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 US to weaken uh the enemies. So, so they become like like a pro imperialist uh, this and this kind of attitude I think it it will alienate um the left the anti imperialist left uh, or the international left from the people including the left wing uh, in these countries. Uh, so they are like uh, they don't feel they have solidarity among the international left to their causes. Uh, of fighting for more democratic space and for more uh, kind of uh, more humane uh, or more uh, better uh, society in in their own countries so so some people they might uh, they were they just turn away to the more right wing imperialist forces yeah this so i think this is the for is the failure of the left to uh, the international left to build solidarity with the left or the uh, the people's movement uh, in this uh, this this kind of uh, countries that uh, been labeled as the enemy of the U.S. imperialists, uh, in order to win them over to build uh, to to build the more stronger movement within this country to push for changes that uh, if if successful, it won't drive this uh, these countries uh, towards uh, the the the, the imperialists, but they are to to stand on their feet 
to and, and build something that were different. So I think uh, this is a very, uh, uh, of course, it's a very tough questions and uh, for for the left to 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 make uh, to to analyze and also to 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 make a, a proper position um, in in the situation of the increasing uh, geopolitical rivalries among the major powers. Thanks, Jonka. I think that. Uh, uh covers this, the, many of the issues that uh, people are thinking about around these protests. And um, um, just as a practical question, um, despite all the, all the uh, restrictions uh, on social media and everything else, is there still um, communication going on between, uh, you know, democracy activists uh, in China and uh, democracy activists around the world, is there still are they still finding ways to have uh, independent uh, communication and links, or has that been uh, so severely suppressed that it's uh, no longer viable? I think they are still can uh, do away with um, uh, go around with the um, the VPNs uh, to access to like the. Uh, the foreign social media so communicate with the people outside the, uh, the 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 great firewall of China. Uh, they are still uh, still possible to to go, especially the people living in the major cities. Uh, they have more access. Uh, and 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 to to to, to connect. But of course, the problem is I say is just now because of the lack of the international left the support or solidarity with the pro democracy or or, or more progressive. Uh, the uh, uh, people more critical um, uh, uh, towards the, the the communist party within the uh, China actually is very complex. There are different uh, strands of uh, of uh, society they wanted to uh, to have different aspirations. Uh, it's not like uh, so so called democracies. They they're not like fighting like for a regime change to replace the communist party with something something like a Western uh, uh, liberal democracy. Uh, they, they just wanted to have more democratic space uh, to voice out their concerns and uh, participate in the in the decision making process. Uh, yeah, there are many people. Of course, the the problem is when you suppress everything. Uh, so the left and right, the liberals and the, and the Marxists, they all get suppressed. So it it it, it create a, a problems of um a more uh, how to say the, uh, uh, uh uh, the more uh, the disconnection uh, between the 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 the, 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 the ruling uh, uh, elites with the general population, which is uh, very uh, diverse in their views, uh, and uh, and of course you hardly you can uh, trace the 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 frustration and and resentment, and it can like break up uh, from time to time mm -hmm. and uh, if it can be severely sometimes can be threatening to the to the uh, to the uh, to, to, to the ring power and also the, uh, the the order of the society of the day so yeah so it's, it's this is the problem uh, that now uh, in in China which is uh, many people find it okay whether left or right find it the the the, this, the, the democracy space have been strong to very little or almost non-existence and uh, yeah it's okay thank you very much and uh, here's hoping that we can find the ways to build more grassroots people-to-people -people solidarity and 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 uh, communication thank you very much john kai welcome welcome <laughs>